that President Donald Trump was in Fargo today fundraising for Congressman Kevin Kramer as your local election headquarters. We've been keeping you informed by covering this event. We'll start with Malik Rankin. In less than three hours, Air Force One touched down and took off in Fargo. It was no coincidence President Donald Trump was paying the state a visit. The event was a fundraiser for Congressman Kevin Kramer's Senate campaign. The last campaign fundraising report shows Kramer's opponent, Senator Heidi Heitkamp, coming in with a much higher dollar amount. I think we run a leaner machine, much more efficient campaign. I don't think I'll ever raise as much cash on hand as she has, but uh, at the end of the day, it's a, the votes that count. His supporters agree, even though the ticket costs were high. For the general public, I mean, who can all afford that, you know, but anyway, if you got the money, Go for it. You know, $1,000 per couple in, to see a president isn't really even all that high a price uh, in, in today's political economy. Democratic House candidate Max Schneider disagreed with those high ticket prices. Renee Cooper stopped by to hear his thoughts. I'm here at the Democratic headquarters in Fargo where about 300 volunteers signed up to make phone calls today. Come down and get a hot dog. It's not going to cost you a thousand bucks. It's not going to cost you anything. <laughs> but grab a hot dog, uh, call up a couple of North Dakotans and, and stress the importance of getting out there to vote. As Election Day is now officially less than two months away, Kramer supporters have no doubt he'll win the state support. Reporting for KX News, I'm Malik Renkin. Thank you both. Kramer told our KX News reporters that we shouldn't be surprised if the president pays yet another North, uh, visit to North Dakota, but couldn't confirm anything so soon.